The fish are biting on Lake Pepin this fall. Good news for Minnesota fishing guide Lauren Walkins. We aren't going to call it a big one, but it's a smallmouth. A smallmouth bass, to be exact, and along with its largemouth cousin, a big business fish. Hot, you love me now! Oh, yeah! It's hooked anglers at tournaments as hyped as the Super Bowl. He's the top of the leaderboard. And it's also a fish of special value to researchers. 330. Who suspect it may tell us something alarming about our water. Which brings us to Columbia, Missouri, and these ponds. Here, the U.S. Geological Survey is investigating why so many males in the pond show female characteristics. Because it's a male, you're seeing sperm here, but oddly, you're also seeing very small, undeveloped eggs. And that's an abnormality. We would not expect to see eggs in a male. Abnormal, but increasingly common. In the upper Mississippi River, where Lauren Walkins fishes, more than 70% of the male smallmouth bass had female characteristics. In South Carolina's Petey River, the ratio was even higher, 9 out of 10. And in one section of the Potomac River near Washington, every smallmouth bass had the same condition. In fact, a recent USGS study found the phenomenon in virtually every watershed in the country. The suspicion is that hormone-disrupting chemicals in the water pesticides, pharmaceuticals, including birth control pills, may be prompting the feminization of the fish. And that matters because in controlled experiments, which duplicated the chemicals found in U.S. rivers, entire populations of fish simply collapsed, unable to spawn. What's more, tens of millions of Americans get their drinking water from rivers, an estimated 18 million from the Mississippi River alone. Makes me wonder what else could be affected here. Walkins wonders if his beloved bass could be the proverbial canary in the coal mine. Are there other species and other, other types of animals I admit this may be occurring in? You know, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Questions whose answers may lie somewhere beneath the surface of the water we drink. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Columbia, Missouri.